Here she is, the formidable and unflappable Cap. The captain is one of the brightest stars in the company right now. I've heard she's generating serious Hollywood attention as of late. And Kat needs to make sure not to let all this hype get to her head or she'll quickly find herself on the wrong end of this match. And a big boot! Oh, oh, man. Tegan's toughness being called into question by that offense. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. Assault being brought to Knox. Oh, we know the toughness Knox possesses. She needs to show it now. And Tegan moves out of the way. Oh, a knee to the face. Look at all these oh my God. That was a showing of control and aggression. Something they'll want to keep up. Saw that coming. She turns it right around with a counter. Oh, what are they doing here? All the way out. Sit out, Gord Buster. Into the corner. This can't be good. That's oh, what they call me, the hot shot. She re-enters the ring now. Tegan caught by surprise. Thankfully, it looks like Cap has abandoned the theatrics of her last match. She's getting down to business with Tegan Knox, Making use of her advantage to climb the ropes. She's ready to finish this. Wait, is that a fan who just hopped the barricade? Looks like that man has some sort of business, but he can't just interrupt the match. Where's security? And that tackle was a fortuitous turn for Tegan Knox. She's taking advantage of the distraction. And that's the match. Whoever that man was, he certainly didn't do Cap any favors here tonight. We got to get better security. What the hell was that? Hi. <laughs> Sorry. Alfie Juniper. You're the flesh here. I know who you are, Alfie. Though I am shocked to see you exist. But what were you thinking interrupting my match? And that security guard almost put you in a local medical facility. Look, nothing I haven't encountered before. I realized that the director might need to do another take, but I just couldn't help it. Another take? That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. What couldn't you help? I told you, I was on the verge of an incredible opportunity. Although, I may have misspoken a bit. Why am I not surprised? I was on the verge of two incredible opportunities. And they both came through! <laughs> How would you like to be in a major motion picture? By any chance, is your friend shooting this in a garage? Not at all. I have two offers for you, co-starring with two top stars. I don't know, uh, maybe you heard of them. John Cena and Dave Bautista? I think they both spent some time in WWE, if I'm not mistaken. You're kidding. Nope. You're not kidding. Like I said, I made some calls and used my connections. Trouble is, they both shoot at the same time. So I need your gut reaction. Would you rather star in a blockbuster action movie with Cena or a quirky indie picture that's destined for award season success with Batista? A chance to do a big budget film with John Cena? <laughs> Can't say no to that. Ah, then I won't either. <laughs> I'll let the casting director know. I'll talk to your people around here too. I'm sure when I give them my juniper charm, they won't mind you taking some time off to film. Alfie, thank you. Gotta admit, I doubted you. But you really came through. Honestly? I mean, most people doubt me. It's what allows me to be sneaky. Like a ninja.
Coming back from break. First team to the set.
Well, this is certainly new for you. I guess seeing the money goes a long way. I'm hardly there. Yet. Let's just say I've done a bit of upgrading all around. I wasn't aware the film came out yet. No, but there's been a lot of confidence in Mudslide 2, based on the dailies. Well, in any case, we're glad to have you back in action tonight. Perfect. And I've made some minor edits to my entrance for my surprise return as well. You know, made it more bespoke to me. I'm excited to be back and bring some A-list buzz to Raw. A-list buzz. Very well. Zoe Stark is here to face a mystery opponent. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada. Zoe Stark! You can feel the anticipation built. It's the captain of the silver screen. And from New Orleans, Louisiana, the queen! I gotta hand it to the cat. That was quite the arrival, and she looks like a million bucks. Hollywood suits her. And maybe she ought to take the first bus back. There is so much buzz over Cap's role in her upcoming movie. All my Hollywood friends are raving about it right now. Since when do you have Hollywood friends? Now, Miz doesn't count. Nonetheless, WWE and Raw is lucky to have the Cap back. Oh, man. They cut the single arm under him into a nice takedown. Saw that one coming. is the target. Boom! Head kick connects. Uh-oh. Ooh, a knee lift. An elbow will break that up. Oh, what a close line. And the powerhouse Zoe Stark knocked off her block a bit. She can withstand the punishment, though. Whoa! Somersault plancha to the floor. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. She throws her back in. My goodness, look at this. Turn out the lights. Stark can't stop this string of offense. Zoe has to wake herself up and turn her intensity up a notch. Zoe with the retaliation. Stark finally finding an answer to that onslaught. Could be a good chance for her to get some distance. Belly to back suplex. No! Oh, oh belly to back suplex with the penalty kick. Sent into the corner. In the corner. And an elbow for good measure. Looking for a high risk move. Perched up top. I mean, knee drop. She's showing signs of slowing now. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. And back elbow creates separation. Oh, and she turns it around. Front face lock. Zoe waddling, looking vulnerable. Perched on the shoulders, feast your eyes. 
That's it. Starts the cover. is out. And this one is over. Here's a few clips from the last match for us. Here is your winner, the Queen! Good evening, and welcome to Captive Audience with the best host in WWE and all of Hollywood, me. Ever since I returned to WWE from filming my starring role opposite John Cena in the blockbuster Mudslide 2, I've known that I have a special responsibility to share the biggest news and mostest personalities with the whole of the WWE universe in ways that only I can. <laughs> Strap in, it's gonna be a wild ride. <laughs> Stay with me after the break where we'll be talking with the Dark Horse Universal Champion about his meteoric rise and grilling the finest of meats with Otis. Oh, yeah. Who's the best agent in the world? If the answer is anyone but you, it's gonna be really awkward. It is me! I've got two words for you. Trish. Stratus. And now I got six more. Is going to be on captive. Wait, sorry, miscounted. One more. Audience! How amazing is that? That is totally amazing. I can't believe a WWE legend is gonna do my show. Is she a WWE legend, too? That must be why she was so eager to come on! I just know you can barely turn on a TV in Canada without seeing her on it. She's basically a screensaver at this point. Well, however it happened, you did good. Thanks, Alfie. No problem. She's all set for next week, and all you have to do is fill in for Trish in a match against someone named Charlotte Flair and win. <laughs> Oh, is that all? Look, Trish has got the flu, but still wants to ensure Charlotte loses. You've got a show, but need a guest. And I'm an agent who knows how to put both of those things together. So what do you say? Should I drop the contracts? Like I could say no to Trish Stratus on Captive Audience. You go iron out the details. I'll go flatten Charlotte Flair. Love it! Break a leg! Not literally. Try to stay in one piece, especially your face. But go get him. the woman who dazzles in the ring or on the screen. The following contest. 
contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from New Orleans, Louisiana, the Queen! I was talking to Cap's agent before the show, and did you know she's up for a huge part in a superhero movie? Amazing! What's amazing is that the WWE Universe is continuing to support this part-timer who only shows up to wrestle when her schedule permits. Here comes the queen, Charlotte Flair. A woman who has truly done it all in WWE. And from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair! Well, I just checked the weather here in the forecast. Up until an hour ago, everybody in the arena was expecting to see Trish Stratus, including Charlotte Flair. Charlotte's got to be annoyed she had so little time to prepare for Cap. When she gets to face an indie event instead of a Hall of Famer, sounds like Charlotte's already won. Able to reverse. Yeah. 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 Oh, now did palm strikes. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. Tossed into the corner. Oh, not a good place to be. a bit of a challenge to the natural in-ring ability she prides herself in. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. Stops the kick. Seeing an answer for every move attempted. Charlotte with a nice... Lock it in, the dragon sleeper! Man, she's got a lot of heart and a lot of guts, but I don't know if she can hang on here. Showing the world just how much fight she's got left. Going head to head, putting each other to the test. It looks like we've got ourselves a brawl here. Looks like a hockey fight just broken up. Two fighters putting their haymakers on autopilot right now. Oof. They are emptying their tanks, going back and forth like this. Oh! And strikes! Knee right to the face! Downward spiral! Strength being shown here. Nothing Charlotte Flair can do now. Two. And she's still in the game. This just has to be Charlotte's DNA. It's the genetics that caused her to kick out after that maneuver. But if we see one more devastating move again, this can be over soon. An overbearing assault on Charlotte now. Charlotte needs to find a way to reverse her fortunes. Countering the queen. Boom! A forearm smack! And she's stunned in the corner. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Here's a combo of strikes! Knee oh. right to the face! Oh, look at this wicked striking ability. Blackout. Hey, Byron, just like you. Straight jacket neckbreaker. 
She just created a prime opportunity. And that's all she wrote. And here's another peek at some of the more memorable parts of the match. Charlotte couldn't finish the job. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamroll. Yeah. Hey. So, um, yeah. Everything good? Yeah. What's going on? Where's Trish? Who? Oh, Trish Stratus. Yeah. I'm sure it's fine, but she is not here. What do you mean she's not here? We've got a show to do. Where is she? I'm working on that now. Left a few messages. She's kind of ghosting me. Although... Natalia was here, and she had my phone for a bit, so maybe she saw a text. I could reach out to her. I don't really want to. She's trying to convince me to get some of her rescue cats on the show, and I was trying to explain that it really isn't that kind of show, but she could be really intense, and I, I just... I just... Alfie, focus. Figure out what's going on and get back to me. I can reach out, too, if you need. In the meantime, apparently I've got a few extra hours to get ready for Piper Niven tonight. So I'm gonna take advantage. So it's a blessing! <laughs> this is a good thing! No. But I'm gonna take lemons and make lemonade. And you're gonna figure out why I'm sucking on so many lemons right now. On it. I'll let you know if I get any messages. the woman who dazzles in the ring or on the screen. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring. Do you guys have any expectations for this superstar as this match gets underway? Yeah, I expect to see a side of her that we've only seen glimpses of. I'm talking about her mean streak really coming to the forefront. She certainly has that malicious side of her, and it could be extremely beneficial to let it out here. Yeah, but she's facing one of the most powerful opponents. That's Trish Stratus' music. Looks like we've got a legend in the building. Or whoever's in control of the entrance music has an itchy finger. Bulldog! An early pin attempt. And that'll about do it, folks. These ladies put on quite a show. Here's another gander. Here is your... What 
the heck was that about? Any ideas what's going on with Trish? No, but we need to back burner the whole Trish sitch for a minute. <laughs> back burner? The whole somehow I've wronged WWE superstar and Canada's sweetheart Trish Stratus and don't know why thing? She ghosted my show, then convinced someone to distract me with her music, Alfie. Uh-huh, because we've got another problem. Don't worry, I'm already on it, but the set for captive audience, it's gone. What do you mean, it's gone? Just that it was here, and now it's not here. The whole set? So we didn't have a show today because we didn't have Trish Stratus. And now, we don't have a show ever because we don't have a set. Basically, the audience might have been captive, but the set sure wasn't. Sorry, uh, too soon. I knew it was as soon as I said it. But yeah, WWE is not super keen to pony up a bunch more dough for a set that we can't keep track of. Their words, but angrier when they said it. Great. We'll figure it out. One of the most decorated superstars in WWE history. Here comes Natalia. We are seeing a mystery play out live on television here as Cap wants to make Natalia reveal who stole the set of her talk show. It's a real Agatha Christie, Michael. Who could have done such a terrible thing? The rumor mill saying that Trish Stratus is a prime suspect. Would not surprise me a bit. Who wouldn't be jealous of Cap? She's not a superstar, she's a supernova. She's staying elusive. Oh, my gosh. Terminating knee smash. Able to get the advantage here. This one is headed outside, guys. Going up. Uh-oh. But right hands create separation and an escape. Oh, vicious knee to the face. And now gets tossed into the ring. Oh, look at these kicks. Oh. Wow. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Endless knee strikes. She sent flying into the corner, and the boat struggling a bit to stay afloat there. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. And 
a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Momentum is clearly against Natalya now. Natalya needs to find an open. No signs of either combatant backing down. Giving up now is not an option. They have to finish this. Exhaustion setting in, and neither one of them is letting up toe-to-toe, -to -toe, treating each other like heavy bags. WWE Universe appreciating these athletes going all out. Oh, and back of the elbow. Caught with that sharp elbow. the rope. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Ooh, she just turned it around. Ooh. No way. Somersault plancha. Soaring out of the ring, looking to do as much damage as possible. And she slides her back to the mat. What a battle this has been. Uh-oh, this oh, battle's boy. about to come to an end. Springboarding up the top into the bulldog. Target is set on Natty. She's in peril. Up into the torture rack. Oh! Feast your eyes. Natalia wasn't ready. Now it could be over. It's over. All in a night's nice work. A lot of good action in that one. Here's another look. I've been on the phone all day. I've narrowed things down to about five or 36 suspects. It was Trish Stratus. 37 suspects. You sure it was her? I don't know why, but her behavior has made it clear that she has something against me. When I catch up to her, I'll ask. In between punches. She's out in LA opening a yoga studio and doing a charity match. Sneaky thief. She's got the public totally fooled. Then I've got a plane to catch. Wherever she's doing that match, get me on that card. Bumper scheduled opponent. Pull any strings you have to. Consider it done! You don't know who might be in charge of that sort of thing and where I could find a number, do you? It's fine. I'll figure it out.
So I confronted Trish after the match. She's pretty adamant she didn't steal the set. And you believe her? She was very convincing. Of course, she's also a heck of an actress, so who knows? But she claims we canceled the appearance on Captive Audience about 30 minutes before she was supposed to come on. That's why she had her music interrupt your match, to remind you not to forget about her. <laughs> why would she think we canceled? Probably because she got an email from me saying we were canceling her appearance on the show. It's in my sent mail. I didn't send it, though. I think I might have been hacked. It's kind of a rite of passage in Hollywood. So, this is actually pretty exciting for me. <laughs> you got hacked, and all they did was send one email to Trish Stratus. Doesn't seem likely. Did anyone else have access to your phone? Only Natalia when she was putting in her number, so I could call her about the cat act. It's kind of funny, though. She kept making mistakes, so it took forever. She's kind of hopeless. Or she was using that time to cancel Trish Stratus and then pointing a finger to keep me from looking at the surveillance tapes. Probably upset about not getting booked on the show. Still, stealing the set? I'm not sure she could have pulled that off by herself. She does have those cats. Dal, they're very good at moving furniture. If they were, they'd definitely get onto the show. That would be some good entertainment. But I'll look into who might have helped Natalia. Thank you, Alfie. Might be good for you to reach out to Trish. I'm not sure what the protocol is in WWE, but in Hollywood, if you fly cross country to fight someone, then realize the beef wasn't their fault, you usually at least send a text. I think that's pretty much universal. Good idea. Quiet on the set, please. Places, everyone. And action. And we're driving. We're driving. This way. Oh, and this way. And we're looking at it. And we're looking at it. Oh, look at her. And we're running. And we're running. And we're running. And we're running. Creeping in. Creeping in. Creeping. Backing out. Backing out. Backing out. And come in for a high five. And now stand back to back.
The queen has arrived. And boy, does she know how to make an entrance. The following contest is a tag match set for one fall. Introducing first, from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair! Uh, Corey, I'm sure you would agree that no one makes quite an entrance like Charlotte Flair. I completely agree, Saxon, because every time she's in the ring, it is a spectacle to behold. Charlotte Flair competed in the first women's match to main event WrestleMania and takes prod. Look at this. Trish and Cap are on the case. And the Queen and Trish Stratus. Trish and Cap hoping to do double duty out here, taking care of Charlotte and Natalia and promoting their new detective show. It's ridiculous. They look like two girls playing dress up in daddy's closet. This is one match where I do not back the blue. Well, someone's ending up black. Back and blue one way or another. Knee right to the face. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Oh, man. Placed into the corner. Tag is made. What do these two have in store? Flying! Making the dream work right here with that display. Man. Drop kick. Oh, great height. She anticipated that one. Oh, tag made. Oh, and a 
kick. Right to the midsection. Putting up a united front as this match continues. Shoulder clothesline. Natalia making the climb. Taking flight. Body splash. That was one big behemoth flying down with authority and force. Moved at the right time. Hold on. And just like that, we've kicked the tempo up a notch. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Axe handle. Talk about being on the same page. They were on the same sentence with that fine piece of work. Uh-oh, look at this. Oh, boy. Exploder shoot makes the cover. She overcomes the pinfall attempt. That's still a quick kick out at this point. Got their opponent set up. Drop kick to the back. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. Ooh. Ooh. That offense taking a toll on her. Drop kick right to the knee. Unleashed on the knee, and that might drastically slow things down. And a Ooh. stop to the gut, too. She's able to get the tag to the sky. Diving hammer strike. Look at this. Just unloading. Really just laying it in. Downward spiral. Uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. The queen's in danger. Perched on the shoulders, feast your eyes. That might topple the queen. It wasn't enough. She kicked out. You come at Charlotte Flair, you take your best shot. But the queen isn't looking to relinquish her crown anytime soon. I don't know if there's more frustration or desperation in the ring now, knowing that you've tried to end this and failed. The revenge shot echoing through the arena. She had it scouted. Well scouted by Charlotte. Placing them into the corner. Oh, my God. And Trish gets countered. But I don't know if she'll be able to do it again. She did her homework there. Ooh, what a block, pop kick. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Oh, look at this. I don't want to be part of these problems. Don't want to be part of this crowd. Battling ringside and our announce table is getting shaky. That's because Byron Hubbard here. And a kick out. Schoolboy pinning combination. Oh, uh, maybe not. Power. She's enduring some damage. Yeah, as Charlotte was clearly a certain nasty chop delivered by Charlotte. Natural selection. Charlotte's down. Could she finally put this Cover. away? Whoa! I'm absolutely stunned. A display of near superhuman resilience. After seeing that, it's hard to imagine what it's going to take to keep this competitor down. That did not work out to Charlotte's favor. Can she turn to something else in her arsenal to finish things? And up the turnbuckles we go. Charlotte just 
just rubbing it in now. Shoulder to the gut. And that was a well-executed attack. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Boom! Charlotte is really feeling the pain that's been dealt out so far. I don't think she even knows where she is at this point. You know, to be the woman, you have to beat the woman, and Charlotte is in danger of losing that moniker right now. Is it enough? The cover! No, she kicks out. Both competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. another look. Here are your winners, Trish Stratus and... Cap, I have a very important question for you. I have a very important answer, Gigi. You know that video game show Miz has Mr. Undisputed Champ and me hosting? Oh yeah, that homage to Xavier's show? <clears throat> down Up, Down Up is a Mike Mizanin original production that is in no way related to Xavier Woods' inferior program. Did Miz have you memorize that? 100%. Anyway, I can see you're a fan. My doofus co-host apparently has big-time Universal Champ stuff to do this week, and I'm looking for a fill-in. And you thought with my cloud and star quality I'd be the perfect person to draft. You are so sweet. Um, well... Unfortunately, Alfie has me so busy, I just can't take on any more commitments. Really, Gigi, normally I would love to do your little show. That's so generous of you, but I was actually going to ask you about one of your kids from TBD Psycho Sally. What about her? She's making waves down in NXT, and I'd love to get the spotlight on an up-and-comer. You think she'd be any good? Psycho Sally would be the perfect choice. She's smart, she's edgy, you guys would have great chemistry. Then get your pal Alfie to get her to the set. And no friends and family deals either. This is Miz we're talking about. Make sure your girl gets paid. I gotcha. Thanks, Gigi. I'll have Alfie send Sally right away. This is gonna be a blast. <laughs> 